Welcome to Along for the Ride. I'm Marissa. I'm Anna. And we are here at Cedar Point's Castaway Bay. with um, your choice of decaf or um, regular coffee. They also have a self-service um, bread service area where you can uh, toast a bagel or a um, piece of toast. And they do have cream cheese and butter for that. And then we come around here and they offer Minute Maid cranberry juice, apple juice, or orange juice. And then they do have, which is my favorite type of pop Coke, but it is not a freestyle machine, which I love. So um, you have your standard pop selections and they also have sweetened and unsweetened iced tea. And look at these super cute cups for the kids. Anna is gonna absolutely love the car cup. Um, if you're into cereal, they, it looks like they have a Cheerio, Fruit Loop, and uh, Frosted Flakes option. And um, they do have a huge craft here of milk. I believe this is going to be your syrup. And then they offer waffles, potatoes, eggs, we have some bacon, sausage, and biscuits. And then um, I believe this is gonna be gravy for the biscuits. Yes, it is. I don't know if you can see in there. And then they also have uh, their fresh fruit bowl, a fresh fruit salad, yogurt, oranges or um, mandarin oranges, cottage cheese and applesauce. Okay, this is a plate that I made. It has the bacon, um, the potatoes, biscuit and waffle with the sausage gravy and syrup. And then I also got the fruit salad because it looked really fresh and really good. <laughs> okay, so we got our food and I'm gonna try the bacon. Um, it looks a little greasy, but it looks really good. I picked some of the crispier pieces because I'm really into crispy bacon. I generally don't eat bacon, but I love it. So let's see. Ooh. You can hear the crunch. That's a really good piece of bacon. It's kind of hard to make it, like do bacon the wrong way, but you'd be surprised it happens. Soggy bacon is just not my thing. What are you gonna eat? Uh, you did, let's check it out. Wow, good job, Anna. That's so cool, you better, you got the biscuits for the ears and then the waffle. Who says you can't have a little bit of Disney magic thousands of miles away in Ohio? bacon, I had potatoes, and I had um, waffles. Um, all of it was very good. Um, no complaints whatsoever, I would say. Um, I wouldn't say this is like, you know, like top of the line, like best breakfast in the world, but it was really good. It was satisfying, um, met all my breakfast needs. So I'm definitely ready for the day with a full belly. Um, I think I would give this a solid 
five out of seven. It was just slightly above average, maybe. I, I feel like when you go to a lot of hotels, there's the continental breakfast. This is maybe like a step up from that. Um, it was clean. There were people um, here to help with things, and um, I really enjoyed it. So I definitely would come back for breakfast. I had um, very similar food. Um, the one thing I didn't care for as much as the biscuit was a little bit dry, but there was gravy for it, so that was great. I really liked the potatoes, and I was dipping the potatoes in the gravy and with a little bit of like hot sauce that was like perfect for me. I really liked the fresh fruit. You could tell it was fresh. It didn't have a lot of like citrus juice on it, which is good because that means that they're preserving it. So it was fresh cut. That was great. Um, I thought the bacon was done well. Uh, the waffle is definitely more of like an Eggo waffle, not a Belgian waffle. I always like those, so that was totally fine with that. Um, neither of us, they were cooked well, and they had butter. It was like, I don't know, there was just something really comforting about having that. I will say, um, we did not try the eggs. I Neither of us eat eggs. I did include a little bit of a clip so you can take a peek at them. Um, so we're not able to talk about that, but this little one is so tired, she refused to eat. So can't review that for her, but um, she did enjoy hanging out with us here, didn't you? I had bread, the honey bread, and the, the waffle. Did you try any of it? Only one thing. One grape, but one grape. <laughs> the nice thing is the kids' pricing is significantly less than the adult pricing. Um, at the time that we came, it was $16.99 for adults and $10.99 for kids. Do you think that's a fair price? Well, considering she had one grade, maybe well, not. Well, maybe not for Anna. <laughs> she had actually eaten, yeah, I think that's a fair price. <laughs> I think that um, that's about the price of a meal in the theme park. And this is nice because it's convenient. I love the atmosphere and um, was quick and we were really full. So um, if you're not on the meal plan especially, I think a breakfast here would be super nice. I have heard that sometimes the characters come walking around too, yeah, which adds it's another element. Like a bit of a schedule um, yeah. with the activities in the lobby and coming here. So um, if, you, if you can time it right, then you might be able to make that happen, but um, it's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly where they're gonna be at, at any given time. But even without the characters, this was a pretty fun breakfast. Yeah, definitely. This is our view here at our table. So we are sitting waterside. There's like the tropical music playing. So you definitely have this vacation vibes. We're very um, relaxed here. And um, I just really, we really enjoyed this restaurant. Thank you for having us at your hotel. We love it. It's beautiful. And I love your lay. So festive. Looking good. Thank you. <laughs> Well, thanks for having us.